Hello, it's Paul here. I'm going to show you how we can set up a, uh, a video camera with Stop Motion Pro. Now, this is a video camera uh, that are fairly common now, which have a SD media to record onto. And the question is, how do you connect them up to a computer so you can make your own animated films? Well, let's just have a look at the camera and see what options we have. Uh, they've got a USB connection, but they're usually just used for uh, downloading the clips onto the uh, computer so you can edit them. So that's not going to be any use to us because we need live video. But a lot of these cameras have an AV socket and usually in the camera box comes an AV lead which will have a small connector like that on one end and a series of three or more connectors uh, on this end, usually red, yellow and white. And if I plug that AV lead in, the screen will go blank and I should now be able to plug this into uh, the yellow lead into a TV and see live video. And if I can do that, I can use it with Stop Motion Pro. So let's assume we've uh, got our video camera and it all works on your TV. If you go ahead and get a Stop Motion Pro uh, USB video grabber kit, uh, which you can purchase from our site, uh, it comes with a few things in the box. And uh, the first one of these is a USB video grabber. I'll show you how to connect this up in a moment, but the first thing you need to do is put in the CD that comes with the uh, video adapter kit and install some software. So let's do that now. Okay, what you should see is something along these lines when you uh, install the CD. What we want to do is install the driver. And it's important to do this before you plug anything else in. The installation process gets started. And there'll be an option to restart your computer. So you do that. Great, well, I've restarted my computer now and uh, I have the, uh, I've plugged in the USB extension lead so I can get access to the USB socket on the computer. And I'm now going to plug in the video adapter to that USB socket. Windows makes a little noise to let you know that it's connected. Now I need to come to my camera and turn it on. So there I have a live uh, image you can probably see in the, uh, the viewfinder. I then plug in the AV lead. Then it's a matter of connecting the yellow socket from that AV lead into the yellow socket of the EasyCap device. All right, now I can start Stop Motion Pro. The first thing that appears here is the capture settings. And from here I select Video Webcam, which will point at the device here, which is the USB 2861 device, which is the video adapter. And under the size there, I'll set it to 640 by 480, and the input to Composite. And if I click Apply, I'll get an image. But as you can see here, it's black. So uh, it may be that my video format's incorrect. So if I click the format button here, I can then make a selection from these different uh, video format types. So I'll, I'll select NTSC, click OK, and there we are, we have the, uh, the video image. Now a lot of these uh, cameras have an auto off function, which is a bit of a problem when you're animating so I'm just playing with the cameras menu here. This isn't inside Stop Motion Pro. And I'm just exploring the uh, menus here. And here's an auto off function. Now I want to open that up and change that to off. Okay. And that'll just stop the camera from turning off while we're filming our animation. Okay, fantastic. Now it's really just a matter of uh, setting up the shot and um, animating. So uh, I'll... Uh, uh, better get busy with that. Thanks for watching.